Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we will explore the select loop in Bash scripting. If you are looking to create interactive scripts that prompt user with a list of options, then this video is for you. Unlike for and while loops that iterate based on conditions, the select loop provides a user friendly way to create interactive menus with numbered options. So let's get started. So this is the basic structure of a select loop. This option is a variable that will hold the user's chosen option from the list. Then this list of options is the space separated list of options displayed to the user. Then in this do block, it contains the commands you want to execute based on the user selection. And in this block, this break statement exits the loop after a selection is made. So now let's see an example. So in this script, we first set the prompt string for the select command through ps3 variable, which is a special cell variable. It sets the prompt to please select an option. This prompt will appear before the user makes a choice from the menu. By default, the select command uses another simple prompt, but setting ps3 to a custom string makes the prompt more user friendly and descriptive. Then this select command provides an easy way to create a numbered menu from which users can select options. Option is a variable that will hold the values for the selected option. Option 1, option 2, option 3 and quit are the choices presented to the user. The user is prompted to enter a number corresponding to one of these options. Then we have this do block. This loop block will continue to run until a break command is encountered. Here this option quit represents a break command. I will explain more about this break and continue command in next tutorial. Now this case statement allows you to execute different blocks of code depending on the value of the variable option. Here the value of this variable option is chosen by the user. If the user select option 1 by entering the number corresponding to option 1, then this code block will be executed. Same thing will happen for other options too, that is for option 2 and option 3. And at the end, we have this default case, which catches any input that doesn't match the defined options. So here we have four defined options, option 1, option 2, option 3 and quit. Here this option quit that holds this command break is used to exit from the loop. And here this isac command indicates the end of case command and this done indicates the end of this loop. So let's run this code. So if you run this script, then it will provide you some numbered options. Now you have to select the numbers correspond to that options that you want to execute. Let's say I want to execute option 2, then I will choose the number 2 and hit enter. Then the comments under this option 2 will be executed. So now in my case, this option 2 equals you selected option 2. That's why it prints you selected option 2. Now if you choose option 1, then if you have to enter the number corresponding to this option 1. So you enter 1 and then hit enter. Now if you want to exit from this loop, then you have to enter this number corresponding to this option quit. So let's enter 4 and this loop will terminate. So this is how this select loop works. Now let's see another more compact example. So I make this script to do some operations on files. Like in this script, we have a menu for file operations, create file, list file, delete file and quit. Depending on the user's choice, this script will either create a new file, list all files in the current directory, delete a specific file or quit from the program. So let's run this script. So now this script giving me four options. First one is create file, second is list files, three is delete files and four is quit. So at first I will select option one that is create file. So if I enter one and hit enter, then it will prompt enter the file name to create. So this is correspond to this, these options. So this echo back enter the file name to create and there is this variable file name that holds the name of the file. Then this touch command will create the file and then it echo back that file with the file name is created. Okay. So let's enter the file name. Let's say test file dot txt and if you hit enter this will prompt file test file dot txt created. Now again it is prompting that please select a file operation. Then you can again select 
any of these options. So now I will select list files. So I will enter to and hit enter. So now it is showing files in the current directory. That is we have two files test file txt and tutorial 11.sh. So this test file txt is the file that I just created using this script file. And this script is written in this file tutorial 11.sh. Again it is prompting please select a file operation. Now I will select 3. Now it is prompting enter a file name to delete. So this is this option delete file. So now it, it will read the file name and it will remove the file using this rm comment. So now I will enter test file dot txt. Now you have to enter y for yes. Now if you again list the files then you will see that there is only one file in this directory that is tutorial 11.sh. So this script successfully deleted the file with file name test file dot txt. So now to quit from this loop we will enter 4 and it will quit from this loop and it says goodbye. So this is how you use the select loop in bash scripting to create interactive menus. It is a powerful tool for making your script more user friendly and interactive. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tutorials. If you have any questions drop them in the comments below and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.